So this question is asking us to consider a simple gear train. Before we go any further with the question, it's just worth clarifying what that actually means by a simple gear train. Um, a simple gear train is effectively two gears represented here by these um, two concentric uh, series of circles. Um, large gear on the left hand side and a small gear on the right hand side and they're on separate axles or separate um, pivot points so those represent that's a simple gear train and you can have a series of those in order in sequence as long as they're on separate axles it doesn't make a difference now a compound gear train is when you have gears that share the same axle and the math gets a little bit more complicated the beauty here is that we'd have to worry about the compound gear train um, we're just worrying about the simple one on the left hand side so if we look at the rest of the question we know that the input gear that would be the one on the left hand side um, rotates at 24 revolutions per minute and the output gear rotates at 108 revolutions now i've highlighted those separately because those speeds um, those revolutions per minute are important we need to know what the question asks us for the gear ratio to calculate the gear ratio we need to know what that formula is um, so you need to remember that gear ratio is driven over driver now that could be driven teeth number over driver teeth number you may get a question that includes that but this isn't about teeth this is speed so we know that it's driven speed over driver speed and all we have to do is just transfer the numbers from above into the formula so we get 108 rpm that's the in, that's the output gear or the driven gear and that's divided by the num the input gear speed or the driver speed um, which is 24. now you plug that into the calculator you'll get 4.5 that however will not get you the full set of marks you'll only get one mark probably for that because gear ratio needs to be represented presented as um, a ratio with a like so a colon 4.5 to 1 and even then that's not quite good enough because we don't normally use decimal places within ratios we like to have whole numbers so you actually need to multiply both sides by two to propagate or um, to make to get rid of that decimal place that 0.5 so we'll end up at a gear ratio of 9 to 2 that will get you the full two marks